Hey everyone, today W. Roll had one of his best solo matches. He learned something else about himself and he sees his improvement during his gameplay. There's a lot of things he needs y'all to know and to teach y'all, but he forgot to commentate in this video earlier. So we will keep this clip rolling and commentate throughout the video. Peace. So right here, I took fall damage a little earlier throughout the match. I was taking to make it. I saw someone on this hill, so decided to build up, and you see what I do from there. See if there's anything I need to tell y'all uh, while I'm watching this. And this is exactly why I like ARs for that type of range. To me, a drum gun or a SMG, whatever, blah blah blah, it wouldn't be that effective from that range where I shot that guy. And also, you see me holding four big pots. That's something I won't normally do. That was really stupid of me. Um, In the beginning of, of today, when I started playing in this match, I was tripping. I wasn't doing stuff I normally would do. And then, later on throughout the video, I started playing back how I normally do. I'm about to encounter someone else in a bit. right there as you see don't hesitate to build when someone starts shooting at you build and what I did right there shooting the press pistol back unless he ran out of bullets that was a stupid idea I think it's best always to build like right there too there's no reason to trade health like that definitely if that weapon is stronger if he had a scar I would have been dead I should have just built it I messed up right there right here right here in this part of the video I start playing how I normally would, so it starts to get way better. I'm gonna skip to the action. See you there. Also, what you saw me did there, I do it in so in duos and squads too, so people who play with me should know. What I did there is shot it because like I like to know I like people to know where I'm at sometimes. So even if I didn't see that guy there, I would have shot it. Also how I um, bounce pad into a tree. That's also something I normally do. I don't know why. Because if I fell in the branches, I would have been dead. Booga, booga, booga. I play everything right there well. Right there, what I could have did different was probably build the wall instead of peeking him like that. But it didn't matter. If he hit his shot or whatever, I would have been in a bad spot though. So what I did there wasn't the smartest move, but it worked out, I guess. Okay, I guess this is, can be a perfect example. What I did right there was a mistake. But you see, as none of my guns was reloaded, it's best to disengage if possible and reload. I mean, and like, get yourself settled so you're ready for the fight. It doesn't matter whether you gotta heal up or whatever, just disengage. You don't have to keep on fighting so much. And in a bit, you'll see a, another tactic I did. And once I took the high ground, I could have switched to my traps right here. Perfect. Trap them. When you put someone in a box like that and you have traps, to me, I think it's best to always use it. And you'll hear another footstep down there. Show y'all a bit more examples in this next fight.
I really don't like commentating throughout my build fights, but this is perfect example. Right here, I kept on tripping and stopping. Like how I stopped like that to use my bouncers, people can easily just hit me once in the head. And how I switched to my traps, that was the wrong decision. I should have kept my bouncers out until I completely sieged the high ground. Which I'll show y'all a bit more in a bit. Then just tell you exactly why. Right here, I think I just kept my bouncers out until I, I took the high ground completely. Which was the right move. See? And then I had to... If I switched to my traps, that was stupid. Yep, I did. Now here. Perfect. I used the other bouncer just to take the high ground once I had it. Easy kill. And then the rest throughout this video was just smart plays by me and stupid plays by the other people when they had the circle and had everything over me. So there's no reason for me to commentate no more throughout the video unless I get to my next fight. And see you there. As I was crossing the water, all I was doing was spamming buttons to get across it and also to keep myself safe. What they should have did, just how that guy on top of the um on top of Luke Lake did, was use the AR. Unless you're a really good sniper, then you can use your sniper. But I think it's best to just use your AR in a moment like that. Easy shots, depending on how far away the person is. And then he he stopped paying attention to me. So I seize the high ground. Other people or other players I know will probably just stay below and wait. But to me, this was just the perfect opportunity to get above them. Could have been trapped this kid also. Right there. I could have just went over there to where he was and trapped him. But I don't know what I was doing. Still want to fight anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then since the other guy was far out, just perfect to get the boat. Get out of my face, kid. <laughs>